know what's going on. I just wanted to be speaking to the church. How are you? Sorry, Perry shouldn't be on us here because I don't want to keep him in the light. That's fine. Oh, he's not here with us. Just keep it on us, Mike. I will. Go on. We have some legal notice to hand in here. Okay, that's fine. And what we'd like to do is just to let you know what's in the legal notice. We'd like to just read it out, if that's okay. Especially for um, the kids come if that's okay. So that we don't bring it around. Well, but this is what we're just about to tell you why we're here. We're just a normal family story time. It's, it's not just a normal family it story time. Family story. It's a rainbow. Oh, it's a rainbow story time. Well, we're reading what for children's books. Uh, which book? What kind of book? Well, the, is it from the rainbows? Yes, it is. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, be, be, before we let. Children's books. Okay. Anyway, that's a huge major point. Well, we haven't just yet because you really need to know what's in this. It's very important. Okay? Yeah. Okay. So this correspondence should be recorded as formal notification just in case. Children of an identity. Sorry. Can you keep your voice down? Can I keep it down? Yeah, just because the kids are trying to. All right, come, up, come over here, this, a little bit closer, because this is very important. It's, it's really, this is we're putting the children first here. I'm sorry. Pride Story Time in Rainbow Reads, 19th and 22nd of July, 2023. Children Protection Notice. This correspondence should be recorded as formal notification of an identified breach of Drogheda's Library's statutory duties to safeguard the welfare of children. Under the Children Forest Act 2015 and Children Forest National Guidelines for the Protection and Welfare of Children 2017. Specifically, the library has exposed children under 18 years to potential harm in its actions in promoting, marketing and hosting a private story time and rainbow reads on 19th of July at 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. Retrospectively, on the 22nd of July at 11 a.m. As you are no doubt also aware, Article 42A of our Constitution sets out the natural and imprescriptible rights of children and the duty of the state to uphold those rights and to ensure that all actions concerning children have their best interest as the paramount consideration. I now hereby call upon you to refer this complaint immediately to the library's designated liaison person as a matter of urgency and that an investigation is undertaken. A library authority within the meaning for the purpose of the provisions of the library, Public Library Act, as amended by the 1947 Act, is under legal obligation as a provider of relevant service to adhere to the Children Forest Act 2015 and the Children Forest National Guidelines for the Provision of and Welfare of Children 2017, Schedule 1, Section 5A of the Children Forest Act 2015 defines a relevant, relevant service as providing any work consistent of the provisions of education, research, training, cultural, recreational, leisure, social or physical activities to children. Uh, we do actually, we do. No, it's important for everybody that they understand. In, in accordance with section 10 of the Children Force Act 2015, any provider of a relevant service shall ensure, as far by reasonably practical, that each child availing of the service from the provider is safe from harm while availing of the service. The definition of welfare includes, in relation to a child, the moral, intellectual, physical, emotional and social welfare of the child. We must trust that you are fully cognizant of your statutory duties to, con to conduct a risk assessment and child safeguarding statement before promoting, marketing and hosting any event that potentially places children under 18 years at risk of harm. I would therefore ask you to provide a copy of the risk assessment and child safeguard statement conducted by the library prior promoting, marketing and hosting the Pride Story Time and Rainbow Reads events on 19th of July. As the Child Family Agency refers to exposure of sexually explicit material, as demonstrated for an example of sexual abuse, it is my submission that it is irrefutable that the library was under a statutory duty to conduct a risk assessment and child safeguarding statement prior to promoting, marketing and hosting this event. 
If a risk assessment and child safeguarding sa statement was not prepared, I would request that written reasons are provided by the designated liaison person as to why this was the case. In view of the library's statutory duties to safeguard children from harm, in particular, the designated liais liaison person should address the following issues. The decision to host Pride Storytime and Rainbow Reads. I note that the library is promoting, marketing and hosting Pride Storytime and Rainbow Reads events for children under 18 years. As a publicly funded statutory body, the library is accountable to the public taxpayer for its actions and is under a duty to be open, transparent and accountable. The online advertisement for Pride Storytime and Rainbow Reads event on 19th of July, published by the Library and Louth County Council, does not make clear which entity is responsible for the decision to hold promotion events of LGBTQ plus stories to children in a public library. As Louth County Council is responsible for the general administra administration of the county in terms of libraries, I trust that the general manager and elected councillors were involved in the decision-making process in conjunction with library management. In accordance with the Freedom of Information Act 2014, I would therefore request that you provide copies of minutes of all meetings and other documentation pertaining to the decision to hold Pride Storytime and Rainbow Reads events in the library for children under 18. Rainbow Reads 2023 Book List. Children's Books Ireland Rainbow Reads 2023 Book List supported by OnPost contains 200 LGBTQ plus stories for children under 18 years. To date, Children's Books Ireland and Ampus have failed to produce or publish a child safeguarding statement or risk assessment to demonstrate that they complied with, uh, with their statutory duties to safeguard children from exposure to harm, prior to compiling this list of books for children. This does not negate the library statutory duty as a publicly funded entity to ensure that the Rainbow Reads books marketed, promoted and stocked are suitable for children under 18 years. In addition, a librarian as a public sector employee is under a personal duty to protect the welfare of all children who avail of library services as far as reasonable, that's reasonably practical. It follows that if a librarian reads stories to children that potentially put them at risk of exposure to harm, then that librarian can be held personally responsible under the Children First Act 2015 and the, part, and the Child First National Guidelines for the protection and welfare of children 2017 in circumstances where that harm was reasonably foreseeable. For example, Fred gets dressed three to seven year olds. It's about a boy who dresses up in his mother's clothes and romps around the house naked on all fours with his dog. It is my submission that the book exposes to young children to potential harm as it introduces the concept of gender ideology as a normalised part of growing up for little children and also contains pictures and terminology that could be interpreted as sexualised by a reasonable, rational and objective adult bystander. Of course, I have no doubt that the library would seek to defend this book on the basis that it is not sexualised as little Fred is simply portrayed as innocently engaging in boisterous play by crawling around the house naked with his dog and dressing up in his mother's clothes. The very fact that Wiktionary Online and other sources define romp as incorporating illicit, illicit sexual activity dating back to the 18th century and mainstream media mass refer to the term in a highly sexualised content clearly means that the term is not restricted to boisterous play in the public mind. For example, the Daily Mail 13th April 2009 headline, Royal Romp. A couple caught having it off online lawn outside Windsor Castle and the Sun 19th of February 2019 headline, Queen's Chief Fireplace Lighter Romping with Married Chambermaid in Windsor Castle. It is therefore highly likely that many people in our Irish society would interpret Fred Gets Rest as containing pictures and terminology as unsuitable for three to seven year olds. This book is gay by Juna Dawson is another example of a book promoted displayed in software or public libraries that contains highly sexualised adult content, although it has been removed from the Rainbow Reads 2023 book list as unsuitable. It is alarming that it is being promoted by our public libraries for children under 18 years of age. I wish to draw your attention to the following extracts from the book, This Book is Gay. Two cisgender men can pleasure each other in a variety of ways. Handy's perhaps the most important skill you will master as a gay or bi man is a timeless classic, the hand job. The good news is you can practice on yourself. The bad news is each guy has become very used to his own way of getting himself off. Something that you don't teach, they don't, they don't teach you in school is that in order to be able to come at all, you and your partner uh, may need to finish off with a handy. A lot of people find it hard to come to other types of sex. A good, a good handy. Come in closer. Yeah. Just thought that she can hear you. Yeah. No. Oh, you can hear it's it. It's all about the, the wrist yeah, action. I don't want to, I don't want to say it too loud either. Uh, a wrist action. Rub the head of his cock uh, back and forth with your hand. Uh, try different speeds and uh, pressure until he responds positively. A bad handy is grasping the todger like it's shaking it like a ketchup bottle. Finally, 
Uh, my misunderstanding about rubbing two pins together wasn't far off the mark. Rubbing them together in one hand feels awesome, mega hand combo handy. Blow is, or sex is popping, another dude's keen into your mouth, or indeed popping yours in his. There's only one in heart, fast rule when it comes to blowies. Watch the tea. Lips and tongue, yes, tea, no. As handies and breakfast eggs, all men like the blow is served in different ways. The term blowjob is massively misleading. You won't actually be blowing, his pe uh, blowing on his penis. It's more like sucking. Although I stress you're not trying to suck his kidneys out through his urethra. It's more about sliding your mouth up and down the shaft of his cock. Letting a guy come in your mouth is a safe sex no-no. Get away from the volcano before it erupts. In fact, be aware that many sexually transmitted uh, infections, STIs, are often spread through sex, oral, uh, oral sex. Bumming is a universal truth that many men like sticking their willies inside things. I suspect it's a biological. Well, in the absence of a vagina, gay men and bi men make excellent use of the back door. Want to know a secret? Straight people have anal sex too, all the time too. Another one? Straight men uh, like stuff up their bums as much as gay ones. Why? As mentioned before, the prostate gland located just up your bum feels amazing when massaged. Lots of gay men, uh, gay, gay men, gay or straight, like how this feels. Anal sex isn't a gay thing. So, and, and as we see with the picture there, it has a picture showing people how to upload, showing children how to upload pictures onto adult dating sites. And all these books are being promoted in your library, which you do have a duty of care. And just to finish with, there is an emerging international evidence that teaching children gender ideology exposes them to harm. It seeks to erase biological distinctions between male and female and reinforces the ideology that children can and should alter their sexes to whatever gender they feel themselves to be, even to the point of life-altering hormone treatment and surgical procedures, allowing children to choose their sex at an age when their brains are not aware, not anywhere nearly fully developed, and they cannot fully understand what they are doing, will confuse and harm them as they get older. The promotion and normalization of gender ideology in public libraries sorry in public libraries through such events therefore poses potential risks of harm to children who are at a cru critical development stage of their lives. The library has a statutory duty to ensure, as far as reasonably practical, to safeguard children from personal injury arising from the foreseeable harm. The potential harms of exposing children to these books with gender ideology and sexually explicit content are clearly foreseeable. In the UK, parents have recently issued a class action against the Department of Education for failing to act on the foreseeable harms of exposing children. Did you want to get to No, I just want to have a listen to this. Exposing children to gender ideology in the classroom. The library in promoting, promoting marketing and holding a Pride Story Time and Rainbow Reads event for children under 18 years are failing to safeguard the welfare of children. I now therefore request that there be an immediate investigation by the de designating lazy young person in respect to my complaint that the library is in contravention of the Children Forced Act 2015 and Children Forced National Guidelines for the Protection of Welfare of Children 2017, as well as Article 42A of our Constitution in promoting, marketing and holding a monthly Pride Story Time and Rainbow Reads event for children under 18 years. I'm looking forward to hearing from you within 14 days of the date of this letter. If, you do not, if we do not hear from you within this time scale, I will have no option but to take further action to safeguard the welfare of all children. That's fine. And just to go forward, that, that's just a little piece of the Children's First Act yep. where the sexual abuse comes and into it. You want us to respond, but you haven't left an email address at very. I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you yeah. that. That's great. Give that. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
So, you know, oh, no, we hear in the media all the time that uh, we can't, you know, we have nothing to do with them. We have a personal uh, responsibility. Yes, no, 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 yeah. But don't you think what we read there was pretty shocking? Do uh, you think that's suitable for under 18? You've made a point, and we have our children there. I understand. Um, no, we appreciate that you stood there and listened, and thank you very much for taking it. And we're not aggressive, you know, we're very, we're very concerned. We're very concerned. We've made a point, and it's all here now, so we have it here now. So, so yeah, we, we do expect a response within two weeks. Um, you know, this is madness what's going on in the country. By the way, we have nothing against we have nothing against gay people. A lot of gay a lot of gay people are coming on side with us. They feel ashamed and disgraced that that, that they're using uh, the LGBT plus community to uh, push this agenda in, and it is an agenda. Okay, that's fine. We have it all here, so we will. And just to, you know, for anybody who else is here reading the books, there is seriously dangerous books on the shelves for one to three year olds. Fred Get Dressed is one of them. Uh, you know, and. Um, Clive and his babies, yeah. where Clive is pretending to be a mother, all role reversals for children, all gender uh, dysphoria being pushed onto children, and it's all happening in here. You now realise that you, you, you have a duty of care. You well, the duty of care is, is not being held up in this premises, unfortunately. That's why we've had to hand it these legal notices. You know? He's doing. He's doing. And uh, by the, way, that. the public um, are against this by and large as well. Okay, that's, that's fine. So I appreciate your time. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, just to say as well, we are going to the guards to give these a copy as well and to file a complaint that the Children of Care Act 2015 has not been upheld in the council. Thanks. We'll take a little look over there, Andy. Yeah. Yeah, look. Promoting date naps to children from the table. Yeah. The infamous this book is gay. Yeah, Andy, you ready for a shot? Look at this, look. What's the tea? Look. This is, so what's this, this, this display for? Oh, for children. Right. Promoting dating apps to 11 year olds. Mm -hmm. These are the books with the dating apps. Well, to 17 and you have this book and only with parental consent. These are the books which we just read out that has the app in them. They're only available with parental consent. You said yourself, 12 year olds can go over there. So you're telling me to tell them over there and your parents can say you're meant to get the book. Is that your duty of care, is giving these books to 12 years old? Or for porn? It's not, it's, and we're, look, we have taken this on board and yeah. we're going to look at that. We're you know what you're saying? Right? Well, so can we just... While you investigate things, could you take these off the shelves? No, no. no. you're refusing no. to take these no. off the shelves no. until, no. until no. your investigation no. is no. Do you support? Do you support this after we've done that? Sorry, that's right. not fair. Okay. You've made your point. Yeah. Yeah. But we, we're, 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 we're asking for uh, a, a gesture to, to put our children forth so that they... Do you know... They're here for a specific sorry. event this evening. Sorry? They're here for a Rainbow Reads <laughs> event this evening. Why would you ask them? It's for anybody who wants to come in. So anybody can come in and get onto the apps? It's for any age group who wants to come in and just talk to staff here from, us, from the library. Are you going to read um, the glory section onto them and the handy section onto them? Mm -hmm. That's appropriate. That's what it says in the book. But then why would you have the book over there if you're not going to read it Because there are other children. I, are you record? I would very be difficult to record me, please. Well, I understand. Well, you know, the, the questions are getting a little tougher now because these books are on clear display for children. Good idea. For everybody. For children. And that's now, Rainbow Reef. That is... That the law. A little children can walk up there now, get this book, and go onto a nap and be raped. They, you have your voice now. There are children in there. You're not, children not here to support this. No, 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 don't do that angle. I was not allowed my child. Children are being raped through these books. Children are being raped through these books. Come in and take it. One of my tenants, take the books off the shelf. Here, one of my tenants, brother, take them off the shelf. I told him not to meet me here. After looking over there. Right. Get these books off the shelves. Can I just ask, can I, I ask her a question? Yeah. There's my daughter, she's 12. 
Can she come in and get that book without me being with her? No, she can. She can. Oh, she can. Yes, she can. She can walk yeah. straight yeah. in the walk straight over there. Oh, she can. I can't. She cannot borrow it. She can't. In the library, you can be 12 years of age to take that book without consent. No, you have to have consent because we, you, that you well, that must have, have to be sign a form. But well, she can come in and read it. She can come in and pick it up yeah, and read it. Yeah, she can be yeah. over there. Okay. Over there yeah. as a okay. So you're so making this available okay. to children. So can I ask, do you have children? Would you allow your 12-year-old to pick up that book? I knew them online. Sorry, can I just say that this was brought to your attention before by me and another lady, yeah. and nothing was done about it. But Don't you think the, that library was told about it already. Yes, and we, the decision was made by library management to take it off the shelves. But you're in breach of your own. You're still in breach of the Children's Force Act 2015. Yeah. Which you no, we have our leg the legal document here. Yeah. Okay, so and but just to say for the record, this is not the first legal document that they've received here. Look, you're going to this get is the second time that legal documents have been put in here. You're going to get Just to say for the record. Council yeah. management and councils are aware. They, they are aware. Council but will they continue to allow children be uh, groomed and raped online through these dating apps? We have seen constant online people being uh, 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 caught online going through the dating apps prepared to rape 11 year olds through these apps. You are prepared to give these books to 11 year, year olds to get onto these apps. They will not be given to the children, to 11 year olds. They, they, well, they are here for, for, for the children. And they, 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 they are here for the children. But they can't, but they shouldn't be because that's, that's it's terrible. breaking the law. It's breaking the law. I mean, we all know the law. law to you. Can we just leave it now at this? We, for this? You've no. made your point. No. You're going to get these books have to come off the thousands of views on this one. You, you know, and I don't appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah, of course you don't appreciate that because it shows you in a bad light. Well, well, let me tell you, yeah, let me tell you, every parent around this country appreciates everything that we do to save their children. And that's well, Andy, can we I have four children and I appreciate everything you do. I've just seen online that you're here and I come in to support just... Can we just leave it at that? Fair We have a lovely call. I'm not having my children read that. These two books. And that's fine. These two books, it's fine. You should take it. All I'm requesting is that you take these two books off the shelf. That's not our policy. Andy, can I just check? Your policy is, uh, you, you quote the uh, 2015 Child First Act in your policy and your in direct contravention and, yep. and breach of that. Yeah. Those books are on the shelf and you're staying on the shelf. But you bring them along. So you, you are willingly hurt, hurt, you are willingly... Oh, it's okay to bring them along? It's not okay to bring them along. You just said it's fine. It's, yeah. Can we just leave it at that we have this here? But you are willingly will, want, going to put these back on the shelves that, and you know that it's going to damage and children, children yeah, can be possibly fine. raped and harmed through these books. Are you going to feel responsible for the children? Are you going to feel responsible because you're allowing it? Are you going to feel responsible? I'm just finished. No question. No answer. Well, no, you, you can try to fob us off, but we're not I'm not fobbing anybody off. Yes, you are. This is a very no, serious issue. Anybody this is an extremely yeah. serious yeah. issue. And it needs to be... Uh, sure, sure, sure. Stuff. We need to, we need, we're very concerned. Look at all these people coming no, in. Yeah, yeah. Don't get a face in it, if you don't mind. All right. What's up? The ladies are going to take them out. Yeah. Oh, what do you want me to do with them? We're going to rent the books. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. The lads are going to take the books. Take them. Take them. Does any more? You have children. Yeah. I mean, and this is the mind that's a question. No, no, we can't ask them. It's not. But you can't ask them. You can't ask them. We're not all the information that we have. We can ask you any question we want. Absolutely. Yes, we can. Could you answer? Could you answer? Ladies, we do understand. We do understand that you're being embarrassed. Put a nail in your feet. Oh, no, it's just it's just it's just it's just it's just not to do with anybody. Parents and every lady in the country like that needs to get rid of these books. I have an 11 year old one on 12, and I mean to say I would not like that book to get into our hands. It's nothing got to do with LGBT, it's not. It's trans and the ideology. I mean, this is what they're bringing into the curriculum. You understand that? Concern and yeah. Like I said, well, you have done it. Listening to her, it's like, you know, you're, you're seeing a child being hurt in the corner there, and we're saying a child's being hurt in the corner, and you're standing there going, yeah, we hear you. Yeah. And the child is still being hurt in the corner. Look, but no, we gave you. So we will. Now, we showed you the books, what is exactly, especially the books that we just showed you there, but you were just telling us that you're going to put them back onto the shelves for 12 year olds to get the apps. Even though you know the apps are there for dating for adults, you know the, the books are there. Just to clarify that. So you, you, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Just want this, I want this clarified. You know the date naps are in the books for 11 years old for adults. You're aware of the content. You're aware of the content and you're still giving it to them. 
You're still yes. leaving the books You're up. still giving them to the children. I just want this on camera. So you don't mind people feeling? Our connection development policy is very clear on our website. No, it doesn't. It's a collection development policy and we have a child. But you're in brief, you're in brief, you're in the last. So you're in brief, 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 you're
Hello. Can I add something there as well, Andy? Yeah, go for it. Um, at the beginning of the year, myself and Anita and a few others, they didn't take us seriously whatsoever. This uh, lady was in yeah. here earlier. Uh, how did they take you? Did they take you seriously the last time? Or? No, they didn't. No, no. Do, do, that, don't you think? They're sniggering. Sniggering. Sniggering behind us. They're not, they're, not, they're not sniggering right now. No. Uh, we have them on the hot seat. Uh, yeah. We have them sweating. They're going to, they have a legal obligation to reply to this uh, wonderful letter that Lawyers for Justice um, uh, put together for us uh, here today, Andy. And um, they're, not, they're not laughing anymore. They're taking us serious because the country is behind us. And we had a, a lovely group of people come here today. Um, I wasn't expecting this, Andy. It's a nice no, no, surprise. No, no, neither was I. Yeah, no, it was brilliant. And on to the next county. To now, the next. what would no, not just off to the next county is um, we are going around to the guards now because we want to report a complaint in there that they are in breach of the 2015 uh, Children Forced Act. We want to try and get that on on record, and we're going to give them a copy of the notice that we've brought around to them. So uh, if you can turn around there, I think we, we've got some friends here that might want to come over and have a chat. Nope. No. no. Are you, are you here, lads? Are you? Are we called for us? Are you called for here? No. no. We called for here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What's going on? Yeah, well then, we, we, we need to talk to the manager here first. Okay. Right. <laughs> Um, there's a, a breach of the Children Force Act 2015 happening here, and other laws which we've just put them on notice with everything that we've given them in here. We'd like to give a copy of this. It's grand. So, so, yeah, yeah. Um, and it outlines all the laws that they're breaking here in the library. They have a personal duty to, uh, to, to take a wee read some explicit. Uh, there's a book over there that talks about the most horrendous pornographic how to give a good blowjob. It's all in this. Huh? It's all in this. It's all in this. It's all in this. Yeah, yeah. It's highlighted yeah, yeah. specifically, and that book is in this library. Yeah. And uh, it's a sexualization and grooming of children. And uh, it's, it's undeniable at this stage. And um, look, there's, we have nothing against gay people, and um, they, they, they keep on going under the banner of gay people. And uh, it's just, it's basically uh, child grooming. Well, you see, in, in the books over there, that's on the table for 12 year olds, there's dating apps being promoted for yeah. adult um, dating apps, which um, predators are going on and they're going after young children. Young children are not allowed to do this. Over here you know? just for to so okay? we, we need to stop. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can move over here. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, no, no, it's all on this. Um, so you might not have realised the extent of how graphic this, uh, what, we're, what we're here for now, but when you look into it, your jaw's going to drop. We, we call to Gardaí up and down the country, and when, they, like, when the penny drops, they're like really shocked and surprised. Yeah. This, like, 12 years, younger than 12 years, can go up over there. My nephew, he's only seven years of age, he's a great reader. You want to keep their innocence for as, uh, for as long as possible. Um, you don't have to teach them how uh, to get rid of the words boy and girl. They want to use words like cross dresser, cross dresser, uh, non binary. Well, they want to use those words for a Well, why, why are they forced on children? No one's forced on children. They are. Having a I don't know. I'm yeah, we're, 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 we're fully aware. We're very, um, uh, we were studied on this, you know, we're, we're looking into this, and it's just, uh, like I told you, Gard, you're gonna, your jaw's going to drop when the extent. You might not realise, because I can tell by your blank expression, that uh, well, this is a really serious thing, and when you see it for yourself, you're going to be, it's, it's a horrendous thing yeah. to do. Uh, so when you across. open up the back of the books there for 11 year olds, right, it's teaching them how to get onto dating apps. There's the picture of the book right here, telling them to upload a picture themselves. How the app works out your location. Who the nearest homosexuals are to you? Now this is being promoted for 11 year olds, lads. 12 in 12 year olds. Here, right here, for 12 year olds. Now I don't know about you lads, but I'm watching uh, uh, predators being caught every day on Ryan. Every day. Do you watch them? Oh, no, we don't. No, you don't no. watch them being caught? No. Why? Why would I? Would you not want to catch them, you're a guard? I'm made aware of them, I guess. Sorry? I'm made aware of them. Yeah. Well, this is what we're trying to do. You know, we're trying to make you aware of, of, of a big symptom of the problem to help you catch these people. Are you yes. aware you know? as well there was um, uh, men's heads, uh, two men in Sligo, their heads were beheaded, uh, their heads taken off, um, decapitated through this uh, app grind. Through these apps. And it's for 18 and over. And and their children are being shoved right in front of these apps in this library. You know? So this, this, this is in, um, in, you know, 
know, there's, there's so many laws being broken here, it's just crazy. Yeah, look, we're looking at it. Yeah, well, we have yeah. it all there written out, uh, every law. So, we, were, we would like to get a complaint in and, try and get a pulse number as well for a complaint, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are we going with you to make the complaints or? Yeah, I'll read through this here now. Is your name D No, I'll put them on to there. Yeah, it is. We have our names on it, Andy. No, that was the last one I put on. No, we signed two of them, didn't we? No, no, no. Let me be. Just turn that away there and give it up to me. Any saying that book? No. I have I have the most <laughs> yeah, but the words it is gone. It seems, seems like Ireland is just going to be sure in, in the two camps, isn't it? No. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is actually. I said like two words in the first. I'd say no. Oh, well, there's a big chunk in the middle. We'll go whichever way. <coughs> Is there? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. Well done. <laughs> well done. He's done a good job there, I tell you. It's good on you to, you know, explain it, what you've been doing. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's true, you know. Next day, look at what's going on. Oh, I around the country so handing these in is, is um, setting up a paper trail with the post numbers and all that sort of thing. So, you know. if, if you could give us a call even and uh, I'll give us a call and that would be our job done to do that. I appreciate that very much. If you are, if you are, thank you very much. You don't shake hands? Don't shake hands. Boy! Don't. Covid. Covid. Don't shake hands. Best luck. Oh, well, appreciate it, lads. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be sticking around, you know. Thanks very much, Gardy. So, yeah, the Gardy showed up again, Andy, and um, I'm showing you, to, uh, look at the media, they'll say they ran us, ran us off like they always do, but they came here, we're going to expect, uh, you're going to expect the pulse number once they read through all this information, probably in a few hours. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely get the pulse number, he has all the info, I told him how important it is, to, it's all part of our investigation, we have pulse numbers going around the country now, um, we are keeping all them pulse numbers, we're keeping everything that we're doing, because when the time comes, and it is coming, it is happening, the pushback is happening um, everybody will be held accountable because they've been all warned more than once more than once and that's what it's about now is accountability and that accountability will protect their children and just to say this book has been updated again and we just noticed that it's telling you how to argue with Muslims oh, yeah. there's no pictures just just so you know that's not something that you want to be shown kids yeah I, I tried I tried, to, I tried to go live and um, I got restricted um, so they're censoring us as well Andy. yeah I told you yeah you know? I knew this is going to yeah. happen you and know. I've never been censored um, uh, since I've been on Facebook since 2007 or something well I'm on my 50th my account first now time, you know first I'm getting censored yeah, yeah. welcome to the club, yeah, brother. Yeah. Welcome to the club. Once your head is above target, uh, yeah, they're going to yeah. keep at you. Uh, I've seen uh, similar experiences. Yeah. So, please share this around everywhere. Help beat the censorship. And Aaron Gabra. Aaron Gabra. Thank you. Well Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.